Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 9 of Direwolf20's server play series. Uh, reviewing what we worked on last episode was getting some stuff situated down here, as you can see. I just started the basic layout of painting, but I haven't done any of this stuff or any of that stuff. So, you know, let's uh, figure it out from there. Mm. Now, uh, following up from that point, I was going to check out what's going on outside. So if we take a peek out here, we can go ahead and uh, check out what's going on. And some changes apparently have been made to the server while I was off. I was just logging in and taking a look. So we've got our peat bog and tree farm over here. Definitely had some things happening. Um, I believe I need to add sand here to get this thing up and running again. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, looks like we've got a hopper set up on top of this thing. Okay, I guess that was taking overflow for... Okay, that works. That makes sense. Now connected underground, and we've got the relay still working here. Now we've got one engine here powering both. That should be okay. Um, I'm going to upgrade these to golden conductive pipes, so that's going to work. And it's a good thing Covert Jaguar is here, because he's going to help me show uh, what's going on downstairs in a minute, but uh, we'll get to that. Then over here, it looks like uh, some stuff changing. I guess the forestry uh, machine thingy. It, it, creeper happened, so... Oh, creeper happened. <laughs> There's Richard G. What's up, buddy? And then uh, down here, so you've got it set up so that... Any excess peat comes into the item loader here and is picked up by the cards? Yep. Cool. And then what's... Th okay, that's cool. All right, just fix the program that will make another tunnels. Nice. So then the cart comes by, um, and he will unload uh, peat is... into the relay, I presume. Yep. Nice. Pretty similar to something I was going to work on. This this one over here picks up the sand from the tree farm. Oh, so. good. If the tree farm was running, so would the peat farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you want the cart moving, Robert? Or? Yeah, it doesn't matter right now. They're not doing anything. Oh, yeah, I forgot they're harder to move now. <laughs> there we go. Now they're back up to behaving themselves. Neat. Very nice. Yeah. I like it. I like everything about it. Free fuel. So I guess uh, any excess peat gets dropped off there, um, but first it tries to place the peat in the generators. Pretty similar to the setup I was going to do. Slightly different, but pretty similar. I like it. Now what's this giant contraption? Ooh, upcoming Railcraft content. That's beta. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, boiler, and uh, it's all set up and running and everything. Um, cool. It looks like your steam engines issues. are dropping a little bit. Yep. Uh, out of water. Oh, I noticed this on the um, tanks, by the way. For some reason, this was happening in 125 also. See over here, Covert? This is what's happening. Yeah, but it shouldn't be doing that. I should have fixed that. Yeah. I fixed it on everything else. I don't know. Is it Billcroft's side now, or is it just you? If you break and replace, it should be fine. Uh... Running away. <laughs> What's that? If there really is no water in there, it's going to explode. Oh, that's bad. Can you break and replace then, or shall I? <laughs> I'm going to run over here. Just, that's probably you know, a good plan. Exploding like would be bad. I like over Fine. Something tells me encasing that reinforced stone would be a good idea. Maybe. Now. <laughs> Replacing Save. or testing the explosion? It's 500 degrees C. Yeah, it's way too hot. It's not going to cool down very fast. Can you turn it's it off? A little cheap. Oh, okay, you can break it. Well, that'll work. <laughs> okay, my dairy is no. If I can figure out which one is the right one I'm going to break. It's still 500. <laughs> just, just letting you know, it's still really hot. <laughs> I'm worried. Here we go. What do you see? Okay, now it's cold again. That's nice. All right, and you reconnected the water. So basically, let me see if I can guess, right? Um, 
your fuel source will go in these four slots here, this one being your primary and these three being your excess. And then water can be stored over here. And once you've got steam, um, or you know, once you've got fuel and water, it creates steam. Yeah, see, that's what I thought was happening, right? That kind of cool stuff. Um, and it'll start burning and creating a heat source. And it'll start creating steam from the water once it gets hot enough. Is that accurate, Covert? Yep. And then you can pump steam like a liquid through liquid transport pipes and send that into commercial steam engines, which once it gets enough steam, will start producing um, build craft power. Yep, four megajoules a piece. Four megajoules a piece, cool. And I guess it depends on like how much pressure is in there, how many megajoules it creates. Like it'll start low and build up. It just depends on if it's getting enough steam or not, basically. Nice. And it does look like there's a couple of the steam things that need to be reconnected. One or two, at least. Is okay. There... Did you reconnect mm, them? It's fine. All right. Uh, yeah, fix those. Cool. I was noticing that on the, uh, on the what, the, the, the things that make creosote oil. The cook oh, yeah. Yes, that was happening a lot <laughs> in 125. Sh I, I'm sure I fixed it, though. But cool. the boiler may have missed that. Because it wasn't currently active when I fixed all the stuff. <laughs> cool. I like that, man. That's pretty cool. So uh, I think oh, you can see even little like steam things spitting out of this commercial steam engine. That's kind of neat. Uh, this thing mm -hmm. is building up to a decent heat. I guess it takes a little while to get up to full speed. Okay, the bigger the boiler, the longer it takes to heat up. So. Oh, you can make bigger boilers. Want... Yeah. You don't want to turn them off, basically. Can you, uh, what, apply a redstone signal or just take the, uh, stuff out of there? You just take the fuel out. What is this thing? I guess this is over to Soren's area? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, whoa, what the heck? Help me! I'm trying to I'm stop. dealing with the zombies. Okay, I'm trying to get to the point. There we go. I didn't like them like banging it. on the door while I was talking. They have no respect for YouTube. So how big can these things get, Covert? Um, three by three and five tall. Oh, and wow. And they have to maintain water all the time? Yep. If nice. It, if it runs dry and you try and put more water in, it will explode. And I what like is it exactly? It provides energy? It makes steam, which you can pipe into the steam engines. Mm. I like it. Yeah, here it goes. It looks cool. Oh, is it going? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's producing steam. Nice. So basically, it gets to a point where it's producing enough steam, right? And the steam is automatically being spit out. So if you break one of these pipes, there'd be a surplus of steam inside the engine. But as long as you have enough pipes connected to it, they'll all, you know, go out and supply steam to the commercial steam engine. And look at that. You're getting about four megajoules per tick. It's, you know, building up to that point. Nice. I like it, dude. I like it a lot. Now, can you apply a redstone signal to this to turn it off? Did I ask that already? No. Basically, the only reason you'd want to turn it off is if something went wrong. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. Well, I was thinking to, like, conserve, you know, energy, right? Like, Well, I guess it does take a while to heat up, so you wouldn't want uh, to use it as on demand. It takes a massive amount of energy to heat it back up again. You'd use less if you just left it on. Fair enough. Oh yeah, look at this. These guys are turning green. Nice. Well, these steam engines, I presume, will never blow up. Um, they follow the same rules of any engine. If you try and connect it to a machine that doesn't accept that much power, it will eventually blow up. Cool. Good to know. Or if you chain too many of them, they will blow up. So. Nice. So, uh, like, what's the rough equivalence of uh, how big of a uh, steam boiler you need to how many engines it can supply? Um, well, these are the low pressure tanks. Um, basically, it's two low pressure tanks per commercial steam engine or per industrial steam engine. Ooh, industrial steam engine, huh? That's nice. And the high pressure tanks do twice as much, so. You need half as many per engine. Oh, I presume the... Well, let's look at NEI here and see what the recipes are like. 
Low pressure boiler, high pressure boiler. Cool. And that requires a steel plate. Okay. So just more expensive um, components go into the boiler. Yeah. Nice. I like it. I like everything about it. And the biggest one, a high pressure max size boiler can support 18 industrial steam engines. Nice. That's a lot of power. <laughs> That's uh, 108 megajoules, I believe. Yeah. Um, or if I wanted to transfer that, I could say something like, is that 20-ish? A little bit, around 20 fuel-based engines? Uh, yep. Sound about right. Where's the Enderman? I want to kill the Enderman. <laughs> take their pearls. I have this awesome plan for like a whole like you know portal gun thing, which is why I wanted Ender pearls. And then I'm like, oh right, we don't have wireless redstone yet, do we? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Which... Chicken bones is wireless redstone does rely on red power, so it's you know once red power is in more public state, uh, chicken bones will be able to update that for us. In better news, uh, Ender chest is almost available for us. I think it might actually be. I don't know. Nice. I didn't have to install it when I logged in today, but I know right. it has been updated, so it will probably be added to the server very soon. Right. Dude, I like this covert. This is a cool contraption. I will definitely need to do an updated mod spotlight for full explanation, uh, you know, at some point. <laughs> Once it's out. Uh, I did want to work on something today. I was going to work on kind of automating what somebody... Did you automate this covert, I presume, with all the rails and stuff? The, the peat farm? Yeah. Was that you? Uh, yeah, it's all hooked up to everything. No, I mean, is that are you the one who did that? I believe you Yeah. Nice. I like it. So that works for me. I was going to do some of that this episode, but I'm glad because I don't have to now. I have another plan <laughs> I want to get working on. Um, there's actually one little change I'd like to make. Oh, dear. Yes. I have an idea. Um, I'm going to see about making that change here in just a bit. Uh, I will be back, YouTube, in a moment. All right, guys, I am back. Um, I looked into a good way to do what I wanted to do inside there with all the stuff, but it didn't work out. Uh, my goal was to set it up so that the MFE would only activate the generators downstairs under certain conditions. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the storage unit outputting of redstone behavior is working exactly like I would want it to at the moment. So I'm going to have to put that project on hold. Um, another option is to use buildcraft gates, but we don't have one of those systems set up to handle that yet. And uh, that's on my to-do list eventually. Um, I do want to get around to this sorting system, but I feel like I should probably put a little bit more effort into the whole, you know, shared resource room, especially so other people can benefit from things. So I'm still going to put that on hold. I do have a cool plan, though, for uh, some stuff to happen downstairs in that room. Trust me. Maybe I'll get to it next episode, even though I've been saying that for, what, four episodes now? Probably. So let's see. We should get some Buildcraft logic gates going in this area somewhere. And what better place to do it than right along here? That looks cool. Now I want to check something. I better turn off cheat mode because I was in uh, the single player looking around at Go what ahead, I could do. You realize I'm watching chat too, so. Who's on what I'm now? Uh, one of my pretty cool stream. I wonder if I can make facades out of marble. Uh, you used to too, but I don't know about now. Yeah, that's a good question. I'm gonna have to test that one too. <laughs> um, because I want to get some lasers going on in this workshop. I'm just not sure where I want the laser table to go. If I want to go upstairs here or downstairs, and if I do put it upstairs, I'm gonna have to run some wiring through the walls, and that's gonna look really ugly, especially if I can't use facades to get stuff. So I might place the stuff down here and hook it up to covert jaguars engines maybe i'll just steal his power i'll craft the lasers and steal there's all his power plenty of power there yeah there is <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking at i'm like how many mega jewels is this <laughs> or minecraft jewels i always call them mega jewels and then i was Me recently too. told that they were minecraft jewels and now i can't get mega jewels out of my mouth it stays in there I and no keeps talking it's supposed to be i never heard Space I've, Toad would be the one who'd have to answer that, I think. <laughs> I feel like I was told that in the code they're referred to as Minecraft jewels, but I forget where I was told that or heard that. Well, um, I've not come across that, so... But then I haven't been looking either. 
<laughs> yeah. All right, let me go get the stuff needed. I'm going to be using diamonds for this, so consider all this, like, really cool because I'm going to have to spend a lot of diamonds to get a decent um, table going. So, guys, I'll be back in just a few once I've got the resources I need. All right, guys, we're back to recording. Diamond I was just buy. showing LRAM. She just logged in the new little toy that Covert made. Pretty spiffy. I think it's really cool. I always think these things are awesome. So I'm like, check this thing out. It's so cool. It's just what I do. <laughs> all right. So here's what I got. All right. I'm going to clean out this chest uh, in a minute here. And I'm going to set up the assembly table and all that good stuff right here. Um, so we're going to have to clean this out. Uh, which side, the left or the right, represents the top half of the inventory? Got me. Yeah. Okay. Me too. So I guess I'm going to have to do this the hard way. I'll clean this up and be back, guys. All right, guys, we're back, and I am going to start crafting the cool stuff. LRAM brought me some goodies, so I'm going to make myself an assembly table first, and that's going to require the following. And don't mind the overlay issues that I've got going on here. This is literally using, like, almost the last of my iron. I really need to go mining after this because I'm, like, out of resources beyond this point. <laughs> I just lost all mine. Yeah, but you did it because you're a noob. I did it because I lagged. Also because you're a noob. I like that too. I think it's funny, I'm standing right in front of the lava block and all of a sudden my client shoots forward. It's like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Oh well, I can make it up. Alright, okay, so I'm making diamonds, myself three lasers. So I can make another drill. stuff. All right, lasers, here we go. Boom. So, assembly table here, which technically doesn't need to... Hmm, that shouldn't be a problem that it lays on top of this. So, boom. Nice and well hidden. Um, and then lasers, I decided, would go across here. And then it's just a matter of connecting the power to them, which should be easy. Um, I'm going to have to break through a wall somewhere. Yes. So this might be a little bit ugly, guys, and for that I apologize, but, you know, it has to happen this way, because... That should be enough for now. I'm looking at chat. Did you ask for I remember your name, that's sad. Mm. I put them in the game, so... Sarah, what's your opinion on 3D items that are not blocks? Now, if everything goes according to plan, I, want an tablet. I should they be able to get. Awesome too, but I can't get one yet. You guys, would help out. I would really appreciate that, but you really don't have to. So, I need some gravel. Is any up here? Um, there might be. Yes, gravel. Hooray! Hey, stealing. So, gravel. what's your, what's your opinion on uh, 3D items if they're not blocks? Uh, me. I don't have opinions on things. You know that by now, don't you? <laughs> I've retextured these uh, Zycorium things and I'm probably going to try to update one more time. If those don't turn out well, I'm probably going to try three, three items. Well, Dyer, you can put stone brick for on them. That would look better than nothing. 
Yeah, that's what I'm working on. I just put uh, the recipe in the assembly table. I'm looking for the power to flow up to it, and it's not yet. Um, uh, should be. I agree. Are the engines off? They should be going. Nope, they're on. Power seems to be not flowing up to the lasers. Why would power not be flowing up to the lasers? Is it angry at my assembly table existence? It shouldn't be. Um, actually it's making for caves. Is it? Indeed it is. And those are on bricks. What? Wait, no, I don't know what it's doing. Oh, I, no, that's a recipe. Yeah, I did the recipe thing and told it, like, make facades, and it doesn't seem to be wanting to behave. What if I threw redstone in there? Redstone's running. Okay. Huh. So why wouldn't facades run? That's weird. I mean, it's not even, redstone's not even selected as a recipe. Well, I, I did for a second, and then I turned it off. Let's put redstone back on. Oh. And now it looks like it's running, maybe? What are you trying to do? Make facades. <laughs> Making. And apparently lasers are not working correctly either. There were lasers a moment ago before I did something that made them not go anymore. But it's, it's powering, but it's just not displaying. Right. It's powering for the redstone chipset, but it's not powering for no, facades. It's on facades now. It well, is? the facades is the active recipe. Yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. It is? Yeah, but on it, my it's screen, it's redstone chipsets. It's power if facades are the only recipe. My side, it's all kinds of not syncing correctly. <laughs> I have no idea what it's doing. <laughs> okay, so it updates GUI if you click facades, but it doesn't power. I'm confused. Yeah, facades don't seem to be working. Oh, there's lasers. We have lasers. They're dark. Well, but they've always been dark them. on my screen. Are they dark on your what, guys' that's screen? That's not the active recipe. The facades is. We'll see what it makes. I know, um, but I turned off redstone and it stops. On my side, redstone chipset is the active recipe. You're all breaking it by everybody touching it at once. Oh, 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 oh. It's... Too many hands in the honey pot. Update this dumb bricks. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Um, I I'm confused. It's, it's built. To, it now says seven cobblestone structure pipes, three stone bricks, and now the red stone's gone. I got mine. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna walk over here because that's really confusing. <laughs> it looks like facade recipes are kind of brokenish. Um. Yeah. I'm going to take two of these wires and rubberize all these and walk away. All right. Well, I can do the 3D models. Hey, the table's up and running, so now we can at least use it for fun things. Yeah. Don't worry, I can do 3D models of the items. Uh, I was just asking other people if they would like Assuming we can make more than just redstone chipsets. Oh, yeah, we can use these to make the gates. Indeed. Assuming they work. <laughs> Watch them not Assuming work. they work, indeed. Uh, cool. Well, that's in place now. It used quite a few diamonds. Now I'm down to four. I really need to go mining. Um, but ideally now we can make gates for, you know, more logic-y stuff. So I'll be back once I uh, do a little something or other. All right. I was heading back to my house, and I saw an Enderman. Hey, Enderman, what's up? I want ender pearls. I'm saving them up so that when we have, you know, wireless redstone. See, they always disappear. How do they manage to do that so well? <laughs> How are they so good at teleporting away as soon as I start to attack them? They know you. They do. Jeez. They know me well. The one bit of uh, AI that's yeah. been well ah, person by no jank. I like where we're on that. What now? I got him. He's dead. All right, I just I'm wanted to kill that Enderman on camera real quick. What um, was the explosion? There might have been an explosion outside. I take no responsibility. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> just saying. Do you know? So when it explodes, it's our fault when we're nearby, but when it explodes near you, uh, the wind did it. 
I understand. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should work on my sorting system a little bit, um, but I need, like, resources like crazy, so I'm going to go mine, and I'll be back once I'm done. All right, guys, I'm back. I've done a little bit of mining, as you can see. I macerated a bit of my resources, but not many. Um, so, got some stuff to do before we wrap up this episode. Um, I know I said I was going to start working on my sorting room, and hopefully I can get that going right about now-ish. So, uh, time to get working on this sorting machine and room that i got going on here. So let's see, getting the last of my blue alloy ingots going. Just wanted to grab a few. Going to need a little bit of gold and the uh, iron that I know I made iron. Where did it go? Where did I put my iron? Still in your bag? No. Did I leave it in the table here? I totally made like half a stack of iron. Wow, that is really weird. This is why I record. It's not for your... There it is, ironing. It's found them. <laughs> it's, not for, it's not for entertainment. It's just so that when I derp like this, I can go back to the footage and be like, oh yeah, that's where I put that stuff. <laughs> you care less to be your entertains. Yep, this is only for my own personal use. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to need a piston. And I don't have any wood. Got any wood on you, Soren? Wood? No, I did not. It's right oh. under me, so I can get some. Covert set up this nice little system for excess wood, so... Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a bunch down there, isn't there? I'll come get some. Oh, I have a portal over there. Alright, hook me up with a stack. Ooh, you've got popcorn, don't you? I haven't shown popcorn yet. How do you make it? You just cook salt corn? corn? Cook the corn? I probably should change it to salt kernels, so you have to actually plant it. I don't know. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on wood nowadays on the server. Guess I don't have to go uh, harvesting wood anymore. That's nice. Yeah. This chainsaw is purely a weapon now. Hey, there's Covert. Speak of the devil. Yeah. I actually probably need to put in another bee farm because. That actually fills that chest before it does the fuel for everything. Huh? That's not an excess chest. Oh. The wood? It, uh, that chest, it, it fills it before it fills the furnaces and stuff. I wonder how sorting machines work. We're about to find out. Well, I just took out a stack and it had a lot. That'll do. Not bad. Gonna need some power. So I'm gonna need a battery box and I'm gonna craft a few batteries and just let them help me out for now. Uh, I'll have some kind of power generation going on down there in a few minutes, but for now we'll be good. I always say that, don't I? For now. <laughs> for now, 30 episodes later, okay. Well, in fairness, like you can't like, you know, be right. done, right? Like, you have to build these things in increments. You can't just be like, I'm putting down the final product. <laughs> Alright. Like, I always, I always get it working and then finalize it with the details at the end. Indeed. Am I holding popcorn? Indeed I'm holding popcorn. It needs a little bit more on a texture base, but that was pretty good for about a minute of drawing. Is that all it took you? Yeah. You're lazy. <laughs> yeah, it was, to be fair, 2 a.m. and I needed to go home, or go to bed for a test. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> I it don't make lazy. mods. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> I have no right to call anyone lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Ye who does not want to finish their project today. No, because I'm almost out of time for this episode. It's late. <laughs> But this will be proof of concept of sorting room in just a moment. And these batteries should last a long time down here, just FYI. I might even place it <laughs> underground. That might be a cool place to place this thing. I can sense disappointment if they do not. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Bracing YouTube comments. <laughs> Oh, 
There we go. All right, so testing the sorting machine. Let's do so it. So we can't scope out the technical level? Uh, you mean you can't understand some of the jargon that we use? Yes, I can use the word jargon on a daily basis. All right, so it painted the item blue. That's a good sign. Yeah. Nice. They went where they belonged. Yeah, LRM did say, like, tubes pretty much would work. Okay, cool. Ooh, I'm going to go steal, like, a stack of peat because that's my fuel source at the moment, which is going to change very soon. Maybe next episode. Ha ha. Ah. Where's the excess so peat you... chest? Underneath me, I think. Uh, yeah, on the other side of the track downstairs. Is it the one that but... says free fuel? Yes, I'm not sure there's anything in it, though. There is not. <laughs> I like that question. Like I said, I, I think I need to add another tree farm. <laughs> Tree farm or peat farm? Well, tree farm because then we just plain don't have enough sand. For FYI, farm. peat farm being the combination of a peat farm and a peat bog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just realized I totally derped on those words. Mm -hmm. And just before YouTube started raging about my verbal flops, I figured I would bring them to light. Yeah. That's the cool thing to do. All right, so I think this tubing system is working pretty well for me. And I'm just going to dump these last two items in here, too. And they'll go, and they'll get bounced back. Because uh, I don't have anything set up to pull the excess out of the macerators at the moment, but that's a project for another day. So they should be stuck right now in the sorting machine because there's no room for them to go anywhere. Once these uh, items get finished, then we'll be able to handle that. Uh, so this is Direwolf20 signing off on episode 9 of Direwolf20 server play. Hope you guys enjoyed checking it out as always, and uh, come back next time in episode 10, where hopefully we'll get this thing wrapped up, or, you know, I don't think it'll be done for at least a few episodes. There's a lot of work to do to get this going, but, you know, it's definitely on the to-do list. And we'll also be checking out some other cool stuff. Maybe we'll go visit some people soon, um, check out what other people have built. Uh, hopefully there'll be a little bit more people on the server itself when I get on next time. Alright guys, take it easy.